You look fabulous, Amelia. Thank you. I'm just getting ready for the day. Mom, can yeah. you write the words on my book? Here, give me one second. So, today, um, I am getting ready, like I said, for once this week because I've been a bum the entire week for two weeks, really. And then I'm going to my mom's to help her get ready, like usual. Every morning I get up and go over to my mom's, um, who has ALS, and I help her with breakfast, make breakfast, get her in the shower, although I think today might be a sponge bath day for her. Or no. No, I think today is a full shower. Um... And just like little stuff around the house, cleaning, things like that. And then I have to run to my office. Nope. I'm going to put my face mask on and everything. And I have to go in for a meeting because I'm a nurse right and my back, doctor's mommy. office is still open. Even though... Mom, be right back. Okay. Update for you guys. Yep. Um, I got taken out of work. And, and I'm working this. from home now. Say I don't break that. Hello. Um, since I am my one of my mom's full time caregivers. Yep. Um you know, the risk of me transferring anything from my job where we are actively swabbing people to my mom is high and since she has ALS and is super immunocompromised, um, we can't risk transferring that to her. So I got taken physically out of work so unfortunately i'm not swabbing or anything like that and i really wish that i could help like my fellow nurses or even be in the hospital during this time but um my place is with my mom right now so i'm working from home triaging i have my work computer i have everything in my work um bag that i brought with me all my folders and everything and i work like two three hours monday through friday so usually i get up Go to my mom's, help her get ready. Then I do homeschooling with Amelia. We do lunch and homeschooling for two hours. And then I hop on my computer at my desk here and do all of my triages, prior offs, med refills, anything that is online or I can call on my cell phone. So even though I'm home now all the time, it feels like there's a lot on, more on my plate because I'm homeschooling and there, there's just so much more so my life's a little bit crazy but what else is new uh, good morning you Isaiah do you want to say good morning <laughs> this I'm one especially theater. has been naughty while we've all been home temper tantrums and the whole work see yeah, you mister um look, look, it's, a monkey. it's a bear you got yeah. a bear on your belly <sighs> I'm going to grab my Sashka company um, nurse bracelet here. It says nurse on it. If it'll, my camera will focus. Let's see. There we go. Where does it say nurse? There. It says nurse right there. I'm going to rock this today. Supporting all my fellow medical people. This is the look for the day. Still in comfy yep. clothes. I'm just wearing a sweatshirt. But um, at least I did my hair and my makeup for once in two weeks, basically. So a few updates to show you guys. Amir and I have been putting off painting our room f since we moved in because we have cathedral ceilings. And in general, painting is always a big process. So, But with all this time that we had off, we finally did it i went and got some paint it's like this neutral really light gray color and we painted it it's definitely not perfect there's spots that need to be touched up and there's spots that we got on the ceiling so we're gonna have to like get white paint and redo the ceiling but i'll show you guys if you don't remember what it looked like you can go back another vlog and watch but it was like this awful brown like almost baby poop color it was not 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 cool so i'll show you guys what it looks like now i love it here it is it's a very like calm neutral color so we have some spots to touch up obviously up here but everything else looks good i can't wait i want to get like um i don't know what i'm gonna do yet but it needs some kind of decor up there this wall is like super blank right now 
but overall i really like how it turned out let me know what you guys think cody sleeping away on our bed I just think it looks so much I better in here, brighter, it. bigger, everything. Okay, I'm gonna get going to my mom's house. Let me grab my phone, my iced coffee. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm gonna put Power Rangers on for Isaiah. I gotta go to Mima's, but I'll be back. We also ended up cutting Amelia's hair yesterday. So she had really long hair, but it kept getting ratty. And it was just such a pain to comb and wash. And she never did anything with it. So she wanted it short. I wouldn't let her go super, super short, but it's pretty short. <laughs> she wanted to go even shorter than what we cut it at. But I'll show you guys what she looks like. She did her hair and makeup today, so she probably looks a little crazy. I've been letting her play with... Um, some makeup that I don't use anymore, some fun colors and stuff. She has in her vanity drawer and she's been doing her makeup all week, so um, she's, she's doing a good job. I've got a face mask that I'm gonna wear when I go into my meeting today at work. Um, my notebook full of questions. <sighs> we are at my mom's house. My mom just got into the bathroom. She's getting herself ready for a shower. So the first thing we're gonna do is shower her. It's her shower right there. So I'm gonna get her all hooked up there. And I know I have a lot of family and friends that watch this for updates on my mom. So I'll try my best to get her on camera today and um, give you guys an update and let her, let you all see her. Um, she has had some weight loss. I think she looks a lot skinnier. Um, especially over the past month, I feel like she's lost some weight. So we're trying to keep her well fed. We make her a hearty breakfast every morning and she's been drinking some Ensure. Um, not like like a lot of weight loss, but um, noticeably to me, I feel like. But she's doing okay. Um, I think she's probably gonna lose all of her ability to walk in the next couple months. So we just ordered her a scooter that she'll be able to ride around the house in. And um, we just got, we just borrowed a shower wheelchair from somebody. Every other day we're doing baths because baths take so much out of her. Baths, showers I should say. Showers take so much out of her. It's a lot of muscle movement. Um, you know, she's usually tired by the end of a shower. That's why we have to do it early in the morning when her body is at its strongest. So. Every other day we do a sponge bath and that gives me a break and it gives her a little bit of a break. And so that's why we we got the shower wheelchair for her. Overall, I'd say she's pretty stable. She just hasn't, knock on wood, hasn't had any more falls. Um, and we're just gonna wait until we have to, you know, go to the next stage with her with this ALS. bacon, um, four eggs with peppers and mushrooms for breakfast. We're just about done at my mom's. She's hopping on the computer here. How you been feeling? Pretty good. Legs are getting a little bit weaker though, so we're keeping compression um, stockings on as much as we can. She ordered a scooter for the house. But so far, so good with everything. Okay. It's freezing out here. It was literally 75 degrees out last week and yesterday it snowed here, so that's happening. 
So we're gonna be off to our meeting at work. It should only take maybe about a half hour, if that. Um, I have to talk to my nurse manager quick. I have some questions for her um, about scheduling people online. So all of our routine appointments, like our rechecks and physicals, people can either push them out into like later in the summer or something when all this um, immediate chaos is a little bit blown over. Or you can choose to do tele telemedicine, telehealth, um, which means that you can come into the office, get your blood drawn, your vitals, and then within that week you're going to have like a phone conference with the doctor um, via video chat or phone call with him. So some people are choosing to do that as well. Um, so I just have a couple questions for her about those things with the telemedicine and my goal for today is to try to get home and homeschool Amelia after that. Um, I do have to start, stop at Target quick. I haven't gone out and done anything in almost a week, but we do need some stuff in the house at this point. So I'm going to go to Target. I'm going to probably wear gloves when I go to Target and just make sure that I'm sanitizing afterwards and just I made myself a list so that I'm not wandering through Target like I usually do. I just want to get in and out and then come home and be home the rest of the day. I do have to hop on my computer, like I said earlier, and work. So I have a lot to do today. <laughs> okay, so we're getting our face mask out. Oh my god, this is not easy doing this one-handed, trying to get it over my nose. Okay, there we go, and I'm going to go in for my meeting, so I'll see you guys after. Alright, we're back. <sighs> I have another meeting to go to Friday. Uh, I got a thank you card from the people at the office because my mom and I supplied Dunkin' Donuts last Friday for a meeting. We got some hand <laughs> sanitizer from one of the hospitals upstate. So, I'm gonna do that right now. Mm, it smells, God, it smells like bubble gum. Um, I got a folder full of prior authorizations that I'm gonna try to whack away at at home. And just more um, stuff to be filled out. We also, I wrote all my notes all over it, but this packet, um, keeping the coronavirus from infecting healthcare workers. So there's a whole little stuff to read probably later tonight on that. The meeting went well. It was short and sweet. Um, the meeting on Friday is about um, mental health, which I think we could all use a little bit more of. So I am... I have to go to Target still and get a couple things and um, make sure that I put my gloves on when I go. I don't even know if I have gloves, but at least I'm definitely going to use hand sanitizer before and after and wash my hands when I get home. In and out and I don't know. Uh, <laughs> this has been, um, this has been my life the past like almost two weeks. Just chaos. <laughs> I want to show you guys these cute little bags I got for um, Christmas. It's called the blue bag, I think. And it's basically like a, a bag. It opens up to like a, a nice size bag, but then you fold it and you put it in here and throw it in your purse. So you don't have to remember to bring like these huge bulky bags with you and it has a clip on it. And when you're just going to the store for some quick things and you don't need a ton of them, or you could bring a couple of these, but it's a, a bag that you just kind of carry in your purse. So that's cool. I'm going to bring <laughs> my hand sanitizer that I just got, if I can find it somewhere, and a wipe and wipe down the cart handle before I start shopping. About to leave, already packing, come with me, I'm not really asking. Get away to a place where we don't know About to see 
see the world in action. What we can be, life with no distractions. We'll get away. This is what we waited for. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out. I'm done living life with the lights out. big stuff I got this bag alone fit all of the little stuff so it's a really big size bag I'll try to link it for you guys if I can find it but I love it okay before I do anything we are gonna sanitize Clean is the new scent. So we got some, um, I actually put the cold brew back that I got. We got iced, skinny iced vanilla latte from um, Starbucks. Some Cool Whip. I got a duvet cover from, for our um, comforter because our comforter is white and we've washed it and bleached it so many times and it still looks stingy and now the kids have like little pen marks and marker marks all over it and it bothers me so I just want like a crisp white duvet basically to be able to pull off and bleach as needed and stuff so I got that and they're so expensive but I got the Target brand one so I hope this one is okay some lemonade conditioner and then the majority of what I got is stuff for the kids Easter baskets because Easter is coming quickly and I'm a last minute person so I'm trying not to be a last minute person so from here um, I'm gonna eat quick in the car I got like a little snack pack and then we're gonna go home and I might have to hop on work so we might have to do homeschooling with Amelia later tonight unfortunately which I don't like doing because she's probably gonna be tired by the end of the night but that's the way my schedule is right now this is Amelia's haircut we did yesterday I can't even believe it she had long kind of wavy hair and she just looks so adorable with this haircut so it's a little short and layered um, in the back and then longer in the front if you guys don't already know I went to cosmetology school originally before nursing school so I cut hair on the side and I have always cut my kids hair so we got a haircut yesterday by mom, mom. I'm mine too. <gasps> let's see Zay's hair always a mess but so adorable <laughs> he's so cute Zay
I'm done working finally. I clocked in like two and a half hours, not including the hour that I was at work for a meeting and talking with my nurse manager. So I got some good time in today. Um, next up, Amir just got us some chipotle for dinner. So we're gonna have that. We got the kids tacos and I'm pretty sure Amir and I both got burritos. Um, but I bought this little sewing kit on Amazon for Amelia and we're gonna teach her how to sew, sew while she is on this school break. One, two, three, check out my horns. Da, 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 da. <laughs> so um, that's what's next on the agenda is sewing Amima's sock that has a hole in it. We're gonna teach Amelia how to sew. Amelia practicing her sewing. We're almost done making no, this a, Barbie, is the last one. a Barbie pillow from an old sock. Yep, she's almost done. Do you like sewing, Amelia? Yes. Because I can sew. Sewing is fun because you can make anything right. from frap, fabric. That's right. This sewing. is our Barbie pillow. So we um, had it inside out. We are sewing. Oh. Then we turned it right side, oh, no. right side out. And just put the pillow in. And then we just finished sewing. And we're going to knot it. And this is the first thing Amelia has made. Okay, I'm gonna put my duvet duvet cover on now. As you guys can see, the amount of marker stains and this white is just super dingy. There's chocolate fingers over here. Um, we have washed and bleached, like I said, this so many times and still it's just like this dingy white. You can tell the difference between this nice crispy white compared to this. So I can't wait to get this cover on and see what it looks like. It is a million times better with this white duvet on. I just got done so much laundry i hang up all my shirts so that's why they're not folded they're like that but i'm gonna put uh, amir and i's clothes in our bedroom so i can put it away after the kids are asleep and amelia's clothes and isaiah's clothes i'm just gonna leave out for now and put those away later because i just don't have enough energy The kids are in bed, finally. It's like 10.30 at night, and I just finished putting all that laundry away, hanging it up in my room. And now I am finally relaxing. I'm about to take my makeup off, put my micellar water and some um, oil on my face. And I'm watching Lock and Key on Netflix. Um, I really wasn't interested in Lock and Key first when I saw the previews on Netflix, but once I got into it, I'm re I really like it. So I highly recommend watching Lock and Key. <sighs> Alright you guys, it's been a long day. This is my new normal. Um, even though I'm not going to work and I feel overall less stressed and on edge. Um, just change in general is sometimes hard and things change like every day every week um with my job and my mom so i know not to get too comfortable with things um for a long period of time because they're probably going to change next week but i love you guys um and I hope everybody else is staying safe and healthy and doing well during this um, isolation and quarantine. And if anyone needs anything, you can always contact me on Instagram and I'm here for you guys. I love you all. Have a good night. Bye. Stumbling out of bed and I still got you in my head from all those pretty words you said. It's like I'm wasted. Every time I see your face, I'm losing track of time and space I don't know where I am, it's like I'm wasted And I won't waste it